and I will click a picture of this Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 and see where it is able to identify this also. It has identified it as the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4. So you already know Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 and 6 are similar looking but it has identified exactly it is Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 which is really really concerning you can say as it is able to identify objects at such minute or deep level hey guys back with another video for my Eric blogging channel so recently the google assistant has been changed to google zemini and you can see a lot of features have been added and this is the new look or first look in the google zemini ai which has been recently released and i have got it on my netting phone one and you can see whenever i will try to open the assistant also the zemini ai has been replaced with the assistant and this works really really good so in this video we will see how you can activate the zemini ai in your smartphone and what are the features we are getting with this new ai which is from google so as always this will be a sick video guys and if you are attending to say as don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification up because i will be making more videos like this so recently i was checking my phone and when i tried to open the assistant i got a notification that the gemini ai is here and with the Gemini AI, I had to agree with the terms and conditions and the portal Google Assistant has been changed to this new AI. And you can see I can either go hit the keyboard to type and ask something or I can also put in a picture there to get the information regarding this. And this is really, really working well. As you can see, this is the Gemini AI interface and I can ask anything here or i can ask the recommendation which is from google see i can also produce pictures like the dal e or mid journey and with the advent of this ai you can ask anything and this will answer you instantly without any issues so i will be asking some questions and we'll see how the gemini ai is working and whether it is able to give me correct answers to my all questions or not as we all know that the chat gpt is there and the chat gpt ai is not able to answer most of the questions which are in the recent times like the launches of new phones or which has been happening in 2024 because it works on OpenAI and which is on the offline model. It has a database which is a bit old. In the Google Gemini, we will see whether this is updated or not. So Nothing Phone 2A is going to launch in March and I am just typing Nothing Phone 2A and let's see whether it is able to give me the correct information or not. So I just pressed on enter and you can see it is able to give me the correct information regarding the phone launch and that's not it it is also giving me the information related to the specifications and every other thing of the nothing phone 2a so which is really really great and i can even like or dislike or share or copy the information and here you can say i have some of the options like exporting it to docs or export to gmail create a public link modify response drafts or report legal issue so if I click on modify response, you will be able to see I will get some of the other options like shorter, longer, simpler, more casual, more professional. So this is a really advanced AI as you can see. I can just click on more professional and it will just give me the information in a more professional way. Response is really, really fast and you can see another response has been generated. This is a bit professional than before. This is working really, really well and if i just click on the shorter option you will be able to see that the shorter response will be generated so a lot of response modification can be done in the google gemini and this is really really good because in the chat gpt we will not get this type of options as we have to again create a query like write a professional information on something or write a shorter information on something and that will give me the query but in this i just need to click on three dots click on modify response and click any one of these to generate another response instantly that is really really good let's say i am able to get some more information or not related to some of the conventional questions like what is the height of mount everest so this is really a simple question and let's see whether it is able to generate the correct information or not as it is new so 
you can see it is giving me the correct information instantly it is also giving me some of the additional information so really working well and now let's do some of the calculation so square root of 144 let's see whether it is able to generate the answer or not so you can see it generated the answer instantly so every type of question it is able to answer now i will try to generate any image so I will write something like generate an image of unicorn in a beautiful forest with roses and sunflower. So this is the first time I am trying to generate an image with Google Gemini and let's see whether it is able to give me an image or not. As we have seen in chat GPT. In ChatGPT, the image generation is still not there and for that we need to go to another app like the Mid Journey or DALI but here you can <laughs> generate the image instantly in the same place and the same app. So these are some of the images it has generated and you can see it is pretty good and you can use these images as wallpaper or download them if you want. This is really a step ahead for Google. In terms of AI and this is really better than the chat GPT which is already there and I don't think this will be free forever as Google will be charging for generating images later on let's generate a wallpaper and see whether it is able to generate or not so generate a wallpaper of Lamborghini in a desert so this is the query I have given generate a wallpaper of Lamborghini in a desert and let's see whether it is able to generate or not. I don't think it will be able to generate a really good image because this is relatively new and oh it is able to generate and these are really good nice wallpapers that it has generated. The only downside is these images are not full screen as you can see and I think Google will be fixing this with time so it is able to generate really good images and i can click on generate more to generate more images and if you want all these features make sure you have updated your phone to latest version and also make sure you have updated the google assistant to the latest version by going to play store and it will be replaced by the gemini update so really nice going and now i will just give an image and ask google gemini to identify what is it and see whether it is able to identify or not as you can see i have this model you can say you all know what is this so i will just ask google gemini to identify this object by clicking a picture of it i just put the picture in there and see what google gemini is going to tell me so i will just ask what is this and let's see what is the response we are getting i have got the results and you can see it has identified it as a pikachu figurine and it is wearing a variety of costumes including officer uniform firefighting uniform and a doctor coat so it has identified the coats also which it is wearing it has given some additional information like it is a small yellow electric mouse that is known for its ability to generate electricity so this is really good that it is not only able to generate images but identify the images of any figuring or any character and instantly it is giving me what is this all about and there is a speaker icon also if you want to hear the results you can just tap on it it will so it will just read everything whatever the results is coming and again you will be able to get that modify response option so you can just click on shorter it will give me the shorter response out there what it is all about a good job done by google and definitely it is a step ahead in the AI game which google is bringing to compete with chat gpt dali mid journey or other ai tools this is really going to blow your mind and definitely it is able to identify anything so last thing what i will do is just keep my watch in there and i will click a picture of this samsung galaxy watch for and see where it is able to identify this also so i am just clicking one picture of this smartwatch and let's see whether it is able to identify the smartwatch also or not so i will just click on what is this wow 
it has identified it as the samsung galaxy watch 4 so you already know samsung galaxy watch 5 and 6 are similar looking but it has identified exactly it is samsung galaxy watch 4 which is really really concerning you can say as it is able to identify objects at such minute or deep level you can see it has given me all the information related to the watch really nice job done by google and it is able to identify things or objects at micro level you can say which is really scary at now and i have not seen this before so definitely this google gemini is going to change the world in the upcoming days and you will be able to see a lot more options and features of this app also so that's it for now i just wanted to show you about this google gemini which has been recently released and i hope you have liked this video if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification up because i will be making more videos like this so thank you guys have a great day thank you